hey guys welcome to another video how are you guys doing if you're new hey do not forget to smash that subscribe button and if you're a returning subscriber mwah, thank you so much for coming back i really really appreciate you so i just want to talk about the books that i got what no no that's not what i want to do <laughs> i want to actually talk to you guys about my january february march april may may tbr okay so yes if you know how march went what, what, what what's happening april <laughs> not me messing up the month okay okay april i just finished reading for april and that's gonna come up soon i've not done the wrap up i just want to do the the may tbr right now so yeah in may we actually went through picking up one in may In April, we picked, we picked, uh, what now? We picked, we selected, okay, Jesus, what is happening? <laughs> oh my God, English. Okay, so in April, I selected uh, some books from the jar, but the jar has disappeared. I don't know where it is, so I put everything here. And as you guys know, I just got more books, new books, actually. I got about 60, 65 books. I've posted 30 already. 30 plus already so the remaining is going to be coming up maybe next month because i just spaced it out i'm just going to speak i've not finished editing the video that's why okay that's why that's just why <laughs> so so i just want to talk about the books i'm going to be reading in april i did not read one book from my from the ones i picked here and it's this one this one i didn't read this one out of everything i picked in fact i read more but i didn't read this and it's because i felt like i was reading a lot of african literature and it was giving me a little bit of headache don't get me wrong okay don't get me wrong the books were really nice okay most of them were nice but i feel like when i read one genre and i read like three books in that same genre i start to feel headache so i have to change the i have to switch that's just how I am, okay? I don't know if you guys are like that. So, so let me know in the comment section. But I didn't read Odufa. So I'm going to actually read it. And from the synopsis that we read... Oh my god, something in my eye. Like, seriously? Okay, so from the synopsis that we read... Synopsis? Is this called synopsis or preview? Whatever. From the back, when we read it, about a lady that is beautiful. Okay, let's just read it again. Because I've forgotten. All right. When Antonio Mukoro discovers he cannot father a child, his whole world comes crashing. His hope is rekindled when he meets and falls head over heels in love with Odufa, a beautiful girl with a shrouded past. But Antony finds soon enough that nothing is at its seams as they both get entangled in a love affair so intense and toxic. It quickly begins to spiral out of control so i'm definitely going to be reading this odufa this month i selected some books okay let me show you these books right yeah i selected those books i'm going to read them in april in may in may may okay may in may but they are new books i just got and i don't want to leave the books that i got a while ago and not read those ones so i'm going to pick one more from here then show you guys those ones my hopefuls so this is how it all looks like. Let me just turn everything in my hand like this and shook. Oh, shook. Oh, one just fell out. Lab, it's back here. Okay. Are you ready? Let's go. Oh my God. Please don't pick a book that has to be two. Okay, I picked this one. Okay, this one. Okay, so... Oh. <gasps> Malibu Rising! Malibu Rising, you guys. So Taylor Jenkins, read. Really. I've been wanting to get to it. So where are you? Found it. So Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins, read. Really. Let's read what it's about because I don't know. August 1983. It is the day of Nina Rivers' annual end of the end of summer party. So it's a summer vibes. Okay. Everyone who is anyone wants to be around the Rivers surfer and supermodel Nina brothers Jay and Hood. And their baby sister kit together the siblings are a source of fascination in malibu and the world over especially as the children of the legendary singer mick river by midnight the party will be completely out of control by morning the river mansion will have gone up in flames 
but before that the alcohol will flow the music will play and the secrets will come bubbling to the surface wow that's a disaster waiting to happen okay so we are reading malibu rising so now let me get into the ones i plan to read that i picked okay so let's keep this let's keep this let's keep this inside the small jar this is not a jar this is definitely not a jar but yeah oh perfect we put it back i know i know i'm doing more than myself I did do past myself but let's see if I can finish all these maybe so let's go the one at the bottom gun 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 what's happening Carrie Soto is back by Taylor and Jenkins that was I was so excited when I picked this like do you guys see how the colors are kind of I like yellow pink blue green Taylor Jenkins really is up to something what is she up to why are the covers like Kind of together but they are so pretty anyway so this is highly anticipated a lot of people say it's about a girl in tennis she was a you know world record holder and then somebody is about to take over a record so she decided to come back i think she had retired at first but she decided to come back to prove to them that she's still the best so the book talks about how you see her you see her determination and her strife and everything and everything yeah, so everybody likes this book, so I think I'll like it too. Buried beneath the boba tree, I picked this up at this pharmacy. You guys, my country is so weird. I bought this book in a pharmacy. I have even been getting other books, a lot of books in the pharmacy lately. Let me show you the one. Yesterday, I went to get supplements, and I got these two books. These two books at a pharmacy store. A pharmacy store. Why is book? You know, are you calculate? Anyway, they are so cute, but. I don't know i just got 60 something books and I'm, here i am buying two more just because i went to see damn i don't know anything about this book honestly but let's go to the back a new pair of shoes a university degree a husband these are the things that a girl dreams of in a village in northern nigeria and with a government scholarship right around the corner everyone can see that these dreams aren't too far out of reach but the girl's dreams turn to nightmares when our village is attacked by Boko Haram. Oh my god. You guys. Boko Haram is one of the scariest things that has happened in Nigeria. And it's still happening because they are, they are the terrorists. Okay. So Boko Haram, a terrorist group in the middle of the night. Kidnapped. She was She's taken with other girls and women into the forest where she's forced to follow her captor's radical beliefs. And watch as her best friend slowly accepts everything she's been told. Still, the girl defends her existence as impossible as escape may be, may seem. A life, a future is hers to fight for. <sighs> wow. Based on interviews with young women who were kidnapped by Boko Haram, this pregnant novel tells the timely story of a girl who, is, who was taken from her home and a harrowing fight for survival. Oh my god, I feel like this book is going to be really, really heavy because... Most of the girls were raped. Most of the girls were forced to do things. They were not brought up, you know, taken from their home firstfully. So, yeah, I've been saying this several times. Well, I want to read at least one motivational or self-development book every month. So, for this month, for the month of May, oh, I got that right. <laughs> for the month of May, I am going to be reading the two uh, Tony Tone books. The real life lessons the blue one and the small one and second uh, lessons on love yeah so these two books are actually really tiny like look at it my hand this is my hand this is my hand this is the book so they are so tiny i'm sure i'll finish them in a day each if i'm too busy so i decided to add this one to it um lady before you are 30 by tolula Jai. Honestly, you guys, you're not seeing the beauty of this book, but when you look closely, can you see the shoe? Do you see the shoe? Like, are you guys seeing it? I didn't see it when I first bought it, right? But when I checked on Goodreads, I didn't read the reviews, okay? I just checked on Goodreads. I could see the picture and the red the shoe was red and it was really cute. I don't know why my own is black. So, Open Water by Caleb Azuma Nelson. This one is everywhere. Everybody has been talking about it. They say it's a love story, but sad, kind of. 
and from the back i can see it is the most essential british debut british british debut of recent years uh two young people meet at a pub in southeastern london both are black british both won scholarships to private schools where they struggle to belong both are now artists e a photographer she a dancer trying to make their mark in a city that by turn celebrates and rejects them tentatively tenderly they fall in love but two people who seem destined to be together can still be torn apart by fear and violence at once an achingly beautiful love story and a potent insight into race and masculinity open water axes axe 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 what it means to be a person in a world that sees you only as a black body to be vulnerable when you are only respected for strength to find safety in love only to lose it wow that's actually quite sad so even uh my friend Tumiche, she said she really loves this book so much and everybody says it's really good so i'm actually scared i wanted to read it this month but i was like I've read a lot of books this month even books I didn't plan to read in April I read them so let me not do more than myself right yeah so I'm also going to be reading Eartha the return of effort this was not on Goodreads when I searched and I've decided to stop reading reviews so I am probably going to be one of the first few people to read from this lovely author her name is Ifunaya Precious Umealaj Cheku okay I'm sorry. I'm sorry I pronounced your name wrong. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Let's see about the book. Will Ether find way blah, 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 again? Will Ether find a way out of a world she knows absolutely nothing about? The life of the Duke George family had been a nightmare after a member, Hertha, experienced a tragic incident. Waking from her long slumber, Hertha sees herself with a new family, a new lover, and in a new environment. She's left with no other choice but to adapt to a place she has no memory of. If she must survive, she must overcome challenges and uncover secrets. Will she be able to solve these mysteries and return home? What obst obstacles will she have to face? That is crazy. That is deep. Okay. But there's one cute thing about this book. Eh? I don't know. I think it's fiction. But what am I saying? Fiction. Is it fiction? Fantasy. I think <laughs> I think it might be fantasy because when you open the book, you see uh maps of places and these are really really cute like i don't think these are real places but you know fantasy stuff maybe it's fantasy or mystery i don't know but i will find out yes i want to read a colin Hoover book and i didn't know which one to pick this is one of the this is part of the books i just got in the next 30 books that you're going to see later yeah so this is november 9 I don't know much about this but I think I can say that it's about two people one is a writer I think or both of them are writers I don't know but they always meet on November 9 every year which is actually really cool I like to see how that is you know a love story from November just one day in a year every year that would be really cool so I can't wait to see that I can't want to read 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 that then Emily Henry. Oh, I read Book Lovers by Emily Henry and I loved it. I loved it so much. So I decided to check out this one to You and Me on Vacation. I think it's actually still the same book as People We Meet on Vacation. But yeah, just a different cover. UK cover is like this and US cover is the other way around. Yes. So this talks about... Okay. This summer, Poppy asks Alex to join her on one last trip could this trip make them realize they are not just friends after all that's all and other things are reviews crazy emily henry let's see yeah i'm planning to read the silent patient because uh everybody has to talk about it yes that's why one second reason because somebody commented on my video i forgot her name just now but she said if I want to start with any of this book. I should start with Silent Patient because it's really, really good. And I know it's that good because it talks about a woman that shot her husband in the head five freaking times and she decided not to talk after that. Six years. For six years now, she did not say a word. So she's in the asylum and there's a doctor that, I don't know if it's a doctor, I keep saying that, that is trying to understand why she did that. 
and the answer will shock you like they said it there that should be interesting and then the 18th game this is enemies to lovers this is walking office vibes this is i don't know anything else about it but let's just read the back this everybody has been talking about it i feel like i'm the only one that i've not read it so maybe i should not read the back so yeah i can't wait to read it hmm. she's finally going to destroy the man she can't seem to get out of her office the man taking up <laughs> far too much space in her head the man she hates or does she oh that's nice that's nice that's a very very good cliff i'm flick cliff anger okay so that is what i'm going to be reading this is the 18 game by sally fern uh, as you can see they are in the office with their heads boiling they hate each other and also it's now a movie but like i said in the hall i would rather read the books than watch the movie so that is all you guys these are all the books i plan to try to plan to try to plan to read okay these are not arranged and i have a bad feeling about that so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen thirteen books is that possible can i do it i don't know we'll see by the end of may thank you so much for watching <laughs> let me know which ones you've read and which ones you plan to read i'll see you guys in my next video deuces ah that was difficult